All right, installing this guy. I'm a little low on battery, so this is going to be a brief. Firstly, this is a piece of wood that I'm gonna pretend is the back of my fridge. I'm not making my fridge today, but everyone wants to know how to put this in, so let's go. This wood is thick enough that on the edge of this, it's pretty much the same thickness as that lip, which is really good because we're gonna use that to retain this guy. Now, this, this block at the front is all cold, so we want that all in the fridge, and we want as much of the heat out of the fridge as possible, which means our wood comes up to these channels, and then we're gonna pack this gap full of insulation foam, full of this stuff. But first step first is get this into the back of the fridge. So, choosing a location, preferably high up your fridge because heat rises, so the heat is gonna come up to the cooling element, it's gonna get cooled and fall back down. So, not at the top, you wanna to be able to get some like air circulation around here, but somewhere high up seems to be about best. So, middle of the fridge, up a little, that's roughly where I want my fridge. Then, obviously, we need to cut a hole that is the size of the inside. So for me, that is 97 millimeters by, whoop, exactly 100. So measure that out nicely. And sitting in the fridge where I want it. Do, do, do. Remember that these veins need to go up and down because as heat rises and cools, this will naturally help it go up and down. So my up down side is 100 millimeters. No, up down is 100, and side to side is my 97. So I'm going to drill here, 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 and here, and then get cutting. Four holes drilled, it's coping saw time. I've got to undo the saw to get it inside one of the holes, and then I'll get cutting. And we're back and cutting. Hole's done, filed out, this fits beautifully. I can get wires downhill just because I think it looks nicer. And it's gonna give me room to put my power supply. This sits in nicely. There's enough room for my two power cables to come through. If not, you can just file a little guss gusset. And you can see just like that, it's in. There, all in. So plenty of room for the heat to go on the top. At the bottom, if you're worried, you can file these off so you get even more airflow. Actually, what the heck, I'm gonna file it. We're back in a sec, so this edge here and this edge here, file them down so the fan gets more airflow. There we go, I've done a little bit, which will help if you really, really want it to be ultra efficient you would go fierce on that and get it all the way down to where the metal ends. But for this, it serves its purpose. In you go, buddy. Once it's sitting in there nicely, you can see that gusset helps a little. We're gonna secure it in. For that, I'm just gonna put two, one or two screws on each side. Depends how loose it is. I reckon I'll get away with one screw on this one, so use the edge of the table so you're not pushing on the element. We only want to drill through the metal. We don't want to drill all the way through the wood. Okay. 
Then grab a couple of screws and a screwdriver, which I'm short of. Again, I'll be back. Okay, let's put screws in each side. Goodbye metal filings, hello wooden screws. So you only need really short screws. The purpose of these is just, just to stop it falling out. One and two. And all your woodworking is done. We have a nice fan. Uh, hello fan, looking really good. So let's take a look at our next problem. This side. Well, this side we've got down here is our hot element. That's the back of that big aluminum heat sink. We need that insulated because on this side it's meant to be our fridge. So I'm gonna put a block of foam over the top. I'm gonna to cut a hole exactly the size of the element here, exactly this size, including the metal. And then I'm gonna cut the sides angled so that we get as much airflow through this as possible. So first steps first, I gotta cut that piece of foam. So assuming it's the lining of your fridge, you just need to measure up and cut. For me, it is gonna be 60 millimeters by 45. Gotta cut that hole matching exactly where it is. There we go, we have a porthole. And oh, it fits perfectly. You can see it just goes around the foam. Now, remembering everything we said about airflow before, this needs air coming at the top and come and the bottom. So, hot air rises, this cools it down, drags it back down. So at the moment, there's gonna be no airflow. So, around this, we need to scoop in and out. Nice big scoops so that, <sighs> so we can get the right thing happening. So, I start off with 45 degrees. Maximize the amount of insulation and airflow at the same time. The more we cut out airflow, the more we lose insulation. So you can't have it all. But like this, we can get pretty close. And my battery is down 5%, so we might finish there. We've got this nice bit. Let's get it on. And take a look at that. Once this is all installed, you can see the gusset comes right down to the bottom of that metal. And the other side, so there should be plenty of airflow in and out. And a little bit around the sides, so that way our insulation is nice and thick. It's going to keep the fridge cool and our cooling element will get the airflow it needs. So all you need to do now is build your fridge and secure the foam. Enjoy.